Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl named Ruby. Ruby was known for her kindness and vibrant red cloak, a gift from her grandmother. She wore it all the time, people in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One sunny morning, Ruby's mother called her into the kitchen. Ruby, darling, your grandmother is sick. I have prepared a basket of fresh-baked bread and honey. Take them to your grandmother. Please be well-behaved during your journey and stay on the path. Ruby's eyes sparkled with excitement as she looked forward to visiting her grandmother, who lived on the other side of the forest. She enjoyed meeting talking animals and discovering hidden paths in the forest. As she skipped through the forest, a playful squirrel named Sammy watched her from the branches. Sammy had always been curious about the little girl in the red cloak. He scampered from tree to tree, following Ruby to see where she was going. Meanwhile, Wilfred, a cunning wolf, caught sight of Ruby. His stomach rumbled at the thought of a hearty meal. He hatched a plan to disguise himself as Granny and reach her house before Ruby. Wilfred greeted Ruby and suggested that she takes a stroll through the woods to see the lovely blooming flowers. He told that the birds were singing and eagerly awaiting her arrival. Ruby opened her eyes and saw the ground was covered with beautiful flowers. She thought of picking a bouquet for her grandmother and promised to be back on time. While searching for the perfect flowers, Sammy reminded Ruby of her mother's advice, and she made her way back to her grandmother's house. Upon arriving at Granny's cottage, Ruby noticed that something was amiss. Granny, who was typically cheerful, had abnormally large eyes and ears. Oh, Granny, what big eyes you have! All the better to see you with, my dear! Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have! All the better to hear you with! Oh, Grandmother, what big hands you have! All the better to grab you with! But Granny, what big teeth you have! All the better to eat you with! The wolf howled, leaping from the bed with jaws open wide. Sammy, the squirrel, swung down from a tree just in time, landing on Wilfred's tail. Wilfred stumbled, Ruby took the chance to escape through the window, while Sammy tried to distract the wolf. Ruby sprinted through the forest, her heart pounding. She didn't stop until she reached the village, she told her mother and the other villagers about the cunning wolf. Sammy and the villagers swiftly gathered and set off into the woods. With Sammy's help, the villagers found the wolf tangled in a thicket. They were able to free Granny and capture the wolf, ensuring that he wouldn't harm anyone else. After that incident, Ruby realized the importance of being careful and following her mother's instructions. Sammy's bravery and quick actions impressed her, and he held a special place in her heart. The forest became a symbol of friendship and courageous heroes. That is the end of Little Red Riding Hood. See you next time.